Welcome back to Rose City Cation. This is Zeth. Today I'm going to be working on COM DD with technical analysis. So I'm going to go briefly to technical analysis to give you an oversight of the psychology of traders in there. And then I'm going to jump to anything I could find useful. So let's jump right into it. So on a one week perspective, the moving averages look bearish. They're all pointing downwards. That's a negative sign. Uh, now on the RSI, it's been trading around this level. Around this level is considered somewhat of a resistance. So we can expect for it to fall back. So we need to look into a one day perspective because the setup don't doesn't look that good on a one week now on that one day perspective it seems that okay this one here had its massive jumps and ups and downs currently it's looking like it's going another run from uh the 70 well the seven cents all the way to almost 10 cents but look at the rsi it shot up this is not sustainable and this is as well a resistance level look look at this line here get okay, one two um and three I wouldn't count this one here. Those are all resistance levels. That's where it retracted before. So that's very dangerous. And it is bearish on a technical analysis point of view. Moving averages doesn't look that good. They're all pointing downward. That's a really bearish sign. It did, yes, uh, break a couple of moving averages here. Uh, the 50 SM, 50 EMA and uh, the 10, oh, sorry, and the 10 SMA, but still looks bear. Now let's jump right into anything we can find. Institutional buyers, Morgan Stanley picked up 21,605 shares, although we're talking about $0.07, cents, $0.06 cents a share. Uh, that's very much peanuts. Um, it looks like it's a little bit mixed, right? It's it's equal institutional values. JP Morgan Chase picked up 285,000. Uh, Giant Capital increased their shares by 3,416, so 314 times more. Transcend by 20,000, so they might be, might be looking at perhaps uh, a little bit of a small jump or small bounce in the barrel now insider buyers nothing significant here last time they bought something was around 16 cents per share it's trading around seven so they lost uh basically two-thirds of their money based, uh, estimated now next thing coming up is um the, the reforma zoomedica sets march 30 2021 as expected commercialization date commerce uh sorry commercialization date for reforma talking a little bit too fast here so i'm going to slow down um, so yeah, the Triforma is has a date right now, and then next thing is their third quarter analysis. Now I'm gonna I, I try to go through towards highlights. They usually have highlights in the first document, but there's no highlights here. I'll go through the SEC filings in a second in their financials after uh, we go through a little bit of uh, their SEC filings. Same thing here. All right, so announces letter from Robert and term CEO made available to shareholders in connection with special virtual only meeting that was on October 26th. Uh, so this one here, the virtual meeting will happen on December 15th. Um, big thing about this one here is they're moving, or here it is, okay. Uh, approval of domestication proposal will enable the Zemedica to incorporate the company in Delaware as opposed to its present incorporations in Alberta. The management believes that the reincorporating uh, the company in Delaware directly benefit the shareholders by saving approximately $500,000 per year in duplicative unnecessary compliance costs. So there's that. Um, and then, yeah, so that's the meeting coming up. There's also a vote currently happening for compliance. So I did try to look on to where it's compliance is for the last documents. This one is from October 26th, so less than a month ago. And it did say that a reverse split vote was ha happened on uh, September 25th. And that got uh, that got a no on terms of the vote. Uh, the compliance is uh, it needs a reverse split for that point of view. Now, in terms of a deadline here, they're basically flirting with time, uh, in my own opinion. And it could basically at any point get delisted if they don't accept a reverse split. Now, it got rejected on a reverse split before, and that is also something that is dangerous. And I want to show you the vote there, so let's jump right into it. Before then, offering shelf offering, as always, Zoom always does these kind of massive offerings. Uh, the partition of uh, certain official CFO, I already got covered that in my last video. And they announced a name change from Zemedica Pharmaceutical to Zemedica Core. Um, here it is, the reverse split. They had percentage four is 56.2 percent, but uh, so yeah, that you might consider that as passing, but 65.9 percent. Of the shareholders were present so that's like 60 that's like 35 38 percent or something like that uh in terms of approval for reverse split so that's not accepted 
And uh, yeah, so there's also some shareholder meeting results for September 25th that basically mentions it here, uh, including basically the first split. Here it is the proposal proposed for shareholder consolidation of first split the company was approved by a majority of the shareholders voting meeting, but did not receive the required two thirds majority vote required under the Canadian law. So it still looks bad. Uh, and basically it was sought to maintain listing on the NYSE or New York st uh, Stock Exchange market. Next thing is the other meeting happening on September 25th. We've already done that already. Um, there are financials. So research and developments that has increased in terms of uh, expenses. Total expenses or loss from operations 5 million compared to 2.8 million. The net loss comprehensive loss is around uh, 5 million compared to 2.845 million. Uh, loss diluted because look at that five times solution, right so if you're talking about the same amount you're probably talking about 0 0.05 loss compared to 0 0.03 but thanks to multiple multiple offerings uh of course it's gonna show lower so there's that uh, nothing significant from that point on i tried to go on towards digging in and try to find uh things related to the reverse splits and etc but it looks like you know at some point it either gets accepted or it gets delisted. Both are bad news for you. So as a company, I would say, well, as an investor, if you're investing in this one, I would say probably try to look for an exit. I mean, I said that way back in August and look where we're at. August, it was around 15 cents. Yeah, you would have saved a lot of money. Um, but at the same time, what I was, what I've got to reiterate, sorry, reiterate is that you need to know when to cut your losses and then re-enter later. So what's your next catalyst? Your next catalyst is probably the March 30th, uh, March 30th for the launch, right? And right now we're in November, so you got November, December, January, Feb, so four months, and you can buy it in February for March. Now, by then, our reverse split or goes to ODC, so then you can pick it up a cheaper, right? So that is the psychology that I'm going after. That's why you need to think about the stock when you're approaching it. Now, what do you think about this sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. You have a wonderful day.